So here we are in the crew commander's cupola station. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces of technology in the tank. So just like the loader's hatch, you have a travel lock here. Once you pull that, the crew commander's station can actually spin around in any direction. And then he has viewing ports all around his cupola, also his day sight and night sight. So he can be looking for a target in essentially any direction uh, and it doesn't matter where the gunner or the turret is traversed. So in addition to that, the turret itself actually has a powered slip ring, which is this stainless steel ring you see right here. And power from the tank is actually transferred through these fingers in this unit, which can get power into this rotating ring. Because remember, anything with wires naturally is going to twist up and bind as you spin. So that slip ring is what allows power to transfer. So now we're going to demonstrate how this works. Now pay attention, there's no one in the gunner's seat right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the power traverse function. I'm going to come up here and traverse to the right and hit the override function and you'll actually see the turret move around to where it needs to be. 